the head case ain't even talking galactic anymore. Watch out! Double floor! Woo! I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. Priests never talked much about these caves. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout little fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. <laughs> nice! Whatever you found in there, Quill, pretty sure it ain't worth getting friends for. Sure, it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. <laughs> Stir Fry, that's a good one. You've been smiling a lot more, Gamora. See, I told you being in a group would help. I yeah, giddy up. Crap, that was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, man? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Let me get this straight. Something, somewhere, in this dank, dark cave will save Drax? Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him. And then he kills us all. Again. I spotted a little mousy hole here. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. says we're being watched. Did he actually say that, or are you just trying to get us to turn around? Hey, don't shoot the translator. I'm just relaying the message. But now that you mention it... I think I've got something over here, Peter. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, feeling lucky? Times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He drags a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Katafian custom. trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can get another big guy. Admit it. Drax means a little more to you than that. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? Take it back. 
Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the Farkin deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Are you Groot? Oh, no, Sir Groot. There's no such thing as the Kotati Root. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you. I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. Gamora, I saw the cutest little doll when I was on Nowhere. You'd love it. Groot says we should check things out over here. What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. There's something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. This place reminds me of the quarantine zone, in all the wrong ways. Maybe falling apart just like it, too. Ooh, spooky. We ain't being watched. No one in their right mind would be in this cut flackened cave of flarkin' wonders. What's going on? What the fuck? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive, but I'm thinking. What's she talking about? What do you think, Will? You best friends? Uh, maybe not. Time to shred him! Rocket! Safety! Oh, never mind, you're busy! Rumbled him! You robbed Peter! and watch him go down! here something we have to avoid mantis over here all right i like drax as much as the next guy but i am officially sick of this stupid cave <laughs> oh bug lady she couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom oh, there's that feeling again the fur on the back of my neck is sticking up We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Yeah, no, I just do. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? Stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Looks like there's something on the other side. Too bad Drax is out of it. I'm sure he'd love to punch a giant face. <coughs> Ugh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. I don't think this is the one where he kills us.
least the crystals are kind of pretty. Yeah, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, star guy. Me too. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. You sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! Ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore. Hey, Groot, buddy. Think you could lift this? Right about there. No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole shut. Groot, a little help? Thereabouts. You find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling.
definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do you even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes. But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Here goes Nukes in the sky! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Clark. I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Oh, oh that's it. I'm going in. Fuck it. Blow up the statue, save Drax, and get out of here. Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy. Don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, do no! Do... I'm done with all the riddles! Don't run! Mm -hmm. Not do whatever you're Let's just hear do. Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Rude, can you tell him to stop? <laughs> Little Fuzzy's in a mood. We're probably gonna die. Did she or did she not say this thing is in our way? Yes, but... Good enough! Rocket, don't! Rocket! Feels like I see this a lot. You wanna know the plan? Yep. One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. We're trying to help you! One where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! You're gonna regret saying that. So am I. Are you smart, boy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all. How'd a gun do that? Show him! Stand back! And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, to towery, Wait, water. hang on. 
Did you say Shatari? Oh, I did, didn't I? It's a funny sounding word. This is impossible! What? I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! No mercy! End of all! Be part of saving Grass! I'm sure Drax would rather not be saving Grass! Get the breathing one, Groot! So many you could have warned us that Shatari was hiding out in the cave! They aren't always! Sometimes we just try to see cute little eyeballs eyes! You know what I'm talking about, Spider-Man? I'm familiar with eyeballs eyes, yes! What I don't get is why they be here! Man, what is this, like the worst timeline? Let me, let me. Oh, my, my little guy! We're just killing parts! Watch your butt!
Forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! I don't think they're looking to make a man squill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Set it free! Groot, <laughs> snag him! Wipe them out! about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, my 
Maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Um, guys. I know, little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this saving tracks. Sure, you save him while I drown. How does it even grow down here? I don't know, but those big leaves could be useful, like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... never mind. All right, I think I can torch these things with a little pew pew. Let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? I was working for a sec, I just need to reload faster. Hear the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? God, nope. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath? Oh, you know he has some Katathian there. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. What's a big ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Boros, giver of light and life. In our case, I'd settle for some shelter. Wet. I'm zero percent interested. Right, I'm on it. You can try to ask him to move, but I don't think this is one of them smart plants. <laughs> See? I told you. Get me up there. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. I'm... Easy, Green Meanie. They'll fix. 
figure it out. If I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind and focus on saving the rocks? He'll be here on the way back, and if he isn't... Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking? Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Hypothetically speaking? Oh, little fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. Dead by Rocket, go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. Does this cramp corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. A what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing. That you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on half the world. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic. Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Uh, there's that creepy fog again. 
It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to... I don't... More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. Moore's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. Move it! How do you know? Hellraisers. has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Can we go back? I'm not even sure where back would lead. We go down. Always down. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacor. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. It's definitely those jellies from Seknar. If I can hear their spiky things shooting out. Sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Anyone else feel like we're being messed with? Always. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shatari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I'm with Groot and Shatari. I'll never forget those things as long as I live. This ain't no time to blow. It's like a mortal set. Something's messing with us. Squishy eyeball things from the quarantine zone. Ugh, it's like pumping a sick! Why are you killing party, Keep doing this. What are we supposed to do? Ignore it? 
This isn't right. It can't be real. Sure felt real when we were fighting them. It's the fog. They're just sounds. And it's just a coincidence. They sound like all the flark and scutbags that have tried to kill us recently. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Starglass, right? Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was everything. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things. But the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardian. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Ugh. Don't be frustrated, little fuzzy. We're all still alive. That's super rare! Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. One time she gives a definite answer. Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close. You finally figure out what we're here for. Just like that. In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Uh-oh. You hear that? No. What is it? Rushing water. Lots of it. Oh, and the odds of you drowning are getting higher and higher. Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. next, Sir Groot. I only know that if we succeed in helping Green Meanie, we stand a chance. Okay. One last time! It's fine! I don't remember this part. Okay. Okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay. This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, Mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what... I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. 
We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches.
jacket, would you mind? I'll pass on that. Let's sweep the leg! Not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very. Very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if 
this here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. It doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Katathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I heard you make that speech so many times. And then Gamora says something like, We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's... What the... Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. You cannot quell a god. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Rainy, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Okay, guys, it's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No, wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsock. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy, and we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happen. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, God Guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? <laughs> So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, 
Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. 